Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tessa from Tessa's Library, and I have noticed that there are a lot of videos on YouTube talking about beautiful books. Look at all my beautiful books. These are beautiful books that I love. Wow, aren't they pretty, etc, etc. And although I agree with those videos, I mean, I love beautiful books as much as the next person. I think they're great. I love, I love pretty things, and I love books, so pretty books are kind of like a win-win. But I've noticed that people don't talk about the other side of the coin that often. Books that are worn out, books that are damaged, books that maybe don't match your series, books that are just plain ugly. So that's what we're going to talk about today. I don't know about you, but I reread books a lot, and because of that, I wear my books out. You might think I'm kidding, but I'm not. This is a copy of Ballet Shoes. I love Ballet Shoes. I love Ballet Shoes too much. I've had this copy since I was a kid. The cover is gone. There's this weird stain through like half the pages. The spine is breaking. I've read this book a lot of times, and you can definitely tell. Now, I did actually buy a replacement copy because I kind of felt bad carrying this one around. But I still love this one, so I still have it. So now I have two copies. But I'm the kind of person who reads their books so many times, I have to replace them because they get worn out. Other books I got when they were really worn out. Look at these cute little guidebooks. They're all about birds. They're all held together with tape. Now, they were falling apart when I bought them, so... I'm the one who taped them, but I mean, this one says Mildred Arnold, 37. So I think that these books look, you know, pretty good. Pretty good for books that are 80 years old, even if they are falling apart. And then I have books that I just, I don't know what happened. I got this book free at a garage sale because I like Andrew Murray. And you know, it's kind of chewed up on the front. Really chewed up in the back. I, I haven't read the whole thing, obviously, because the last, you know, few pages are literally chewed. I don't know if a dog got chewed on it. I don't know. But here you go. Here's the glamorous book tube shot. <laughs> not. And then this book. This is like my favorite book in the world. Well, not quite. I like Les Miserables more. But this is one of my favorite books in the world. I've read it so many times. I have literally broken the spine. I, I think I've read this book 25 times. I'm gonna have to get a new copy because the spine is break broken and the pages are starting to fall out. I just, I wear out my books. I have books that are missing pages, I have books that are missing covers, I have books that were left out in, in the rain or left in a place where they got wet. And then you have books that don't match, series that don't match. And I see so many booktubers who have beautiful bookshelves full of books, series that match perfectly. And I'm holding up my series like, I guess these two match. Those two look the same. Not so much. They like they're totally different editions from different years and different different sets. That doesn't really bother me. I mean I like I like it when my sets match, but there it is. Look at that. And it gets even worse. Like that set, at least they're all in hardback. No, no, no. Look at my Verkosigan series. Oh my word. So we have this, you know, big fancy hardback. This one, and this actually has a nice cover for once because this series has the ugliest covers. And then, I hate mass market paperbacks, but they were the only way I could find these ones, so yeah. This is in the same set. Does it match up at all? Nope. Nope. Not at all. Not at all. And then, Betsy Tacy, another one of my favorite series. Look at that adorable, beautiful bind-up of the first three books. First four books, excuse me. Oh, look at this beautiful version from, you know, one of the first printings. Ah, this is my favorite. And then I have not one, but two different paperback editions that don't match at all. And this one leads me to my next category, which is just plain ugly. Look at that. If someone gave me this book and said, this is a wonderful book, I would look at the cover and think... If it is a wonderful book, it was poorly served by its cover. I am not someone who judges books by their covers. I mean, a pretty cover catches my eye, but I'll read books um, even if they have ugly covers. And I've read really bad books that had pretty covers, so I try not to let, let that be in my decision-making process. But 
Oh my word, that is so bad. Can you even see how ugly it is? It, it just, I've read the book multiple times. It doesn't match the book. It doesn't look nice. It's bad in every way. And that's what, whoop, that's what the Vorkazian saga too. Like, I've read people, like in reviews, refer to this series as the series with the ugly covers. Because look, ugly, ugly. They're all ugly. I showed my mom one of these books and she's like, wow, that's the ugliest book I've ever seen. Yep, yep it is. It is just unattractive. But, like, the books themselves are good. Even if they are mismatching and ugly. And then, like, Westmark by Lloyd Alexander. Lloyd Alexander is one of my favorite writers. Why would they give him a cover that ugly? It just, and, I mean, the binding is kind of terrible, too. It was discarded from a library. That doesn't bother me. The pages are all yellow and the print is tiny and the binding is really stiff. I have ugly books. I have so many books that are just gorgeous and I love them and I love seeing other people's pretty books. But in reality, many of my books, they look like this. They look like that. That cover does not draw me in, even though this is a fantastic book by one of my favorite authors. Even knowing, as I know, that this is a good book, I look at that cover and I think, why would you ever, why would you ever publish a book like that? And like with all the blank white space, it's not a good look. And then don't even get me started on the Verkozikin series. Mass market paperback and an ugly cover. This book has nothing to sell it except for the fact that it's extremely well written and it has awesome characters. But you wouldn't know that unless you read it. I guess the main point of this video was just to show off some of my books, but also to say I own a lot of books that are not beautiful or pristine or in good condition or photogenic or, or anything like that. But I love them anyway. And as much as I love beautiful covers and beautiful bindings, it's what's on the inside that counts. And I would rather have a good book that's ugly or beat up on the outside than the opposite. So so let me know what you think in the comments. Have you worn out any books? What books do you own that are just not very beautiful? I'd love to hear. See you next time. Bye!